today we got the Ilco truck here visiting us at our shop in Tomball and we're gonna go take a look inside the vehicle and look at some of the uh, car uh, cutting machines and the uh, car and remote programmers that they have. Let's go take a look. So this is the Futura and the Futura. This is the Futura Auto. So Ryan McGee from uh, right from the the plant uh, headquarters. Uh, he can demonstrate basically Futura Auto, which is all automotive, highly uh, fully automated, uh, ready to go. Again, strictly all automotive. Uh, and then uh, next to it is the Futura Pro, which gives you the capability with the two jaw set up it gives you the capability to do residential and automotive yeah, awesome. so full-blown here uh, really directive and specific here on that for the automotive type guy you can get a jaw out too for the future auto I'm sure it's in there right yeah does that come with it or is that an additional yeah both yep. jaws come with the future auto as well as all the uh, cutters necessary to do your edge cut and your high security okay. keys um, so the major difference as you can see here between the Futura Pro, other than this being a strictly automotive machine, the Futura Pro has two workstations. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Futura Auto has one workstation that you can interchange out the jaws. There's a set screw here on the side. You simply loosen that by a quarter of a turn. This will slide out, allows you to put the edge cut jaw in place. Oh, so here's the other cut I see. So this one cuts the yep. residential there. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So nice. with this one, when they, each time you uh, switch out the jaw assembly, you have to put the appropriate cutter in with the appropriate jaw that you're using. Gotcha. The okay. cut. Um, and you also have a, a holder up here on both machines for putting your own blades. Oh, okay. That's what I have one in there. Okay, I see yeah. it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Sorry. I'm going to walk through a demonstration on the Honda sure. Key here. So, for starters, you would, uh, I'm going to go back to the home screen. You would go to the Silka application, open it up. From here, you would go to search. We're going to do a Honda Key. We're going to do this uh, Honda service blank here. You go yeah. to vehicle keys, vehicle make. Type in Honda. Select Honda USA. We're going to do a cord. We're going to do a 13 and up cord. It's going to give us our car number there. The information that it's going to give us, it's going to give us the Silka number. It's going to give us the uh, the uh, the code series. For this one, it's K001 through M. Uh, through N718. Uh, also give us the car number. This can be referenced in our um, auto truck, truck yeah. keyboard reference guide, which okay. we have, a, have available. Okay. Um, have a, a, new one, a new one's about to come out. Yeah. Okay. So the 19 is in, in circulation now, and he's got a new one coming out within what, The 2021 is out. You can is get it out the, You now? can get it on our website, and nice. they should be shipping the di distribution. Um, actually, this week they should be shipping yeah, it out. Yeah, any day okay. now. Yep. 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 Yep, so. That's probably why we're out in the van. We don't have any in the van right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so we're changing out. So once you get here, you can go to the card icon. Believe me, yep. On this screen, if we had the code for this particular key, we could go ahead and put the code in up there. If we had the cuts for the key, we could put the cuts in here. Um, decoding. Yep, if, if we had so indirect or direct cutting. So okay. like this key right here is already cut. If we wanted right. to decode that, we could do that. You have a mobile tracer on the future auto that you lower down. For decoder purposes, you also have the same tracer on the Future Pro for, code, gotcha. for decoder mm -hmm. purposes. Okay. Two things that you won't see, um, at least on this machine, is number one, there's no tip stop mm. position. Very, very big deal. So that takes a lot of the user error out of the equation. Exactly. So on this one, you have tip stops. Right. As long as you follow the correct tip stop, you're good to go. Right. But you put it in tip stop one when it's supposed to be a tip stop two, then you're going to have a miscut key. Mm -hmm. On this okay. one, the machine auto detects where that key is located. It makes an electrical contact to, to detect that um, information, and then it'll find out where it needs to be to cut the key. Okay. 
so you don't you just put it in there you don't have to match yep. it to a line or yep. anything so, like that. so you have a reference um good rule of thumb is when you put it in i have one cut you have them cut yeah, i have one cut okay well no, i was gonna i was gonna show so when you load the key in you just don't want to have it protruding past the uh, back of the uh, clamp right and you don't want it of course to be on the cuts here sure you want it, it, the sweet spots between here and there I, your rule of thumb is about an eighth of an inch from the uh the head of the key okay. it will so show right you a picture a little diagram of it it'll yeah, give it'll you a line you. okay and so you kind of want to just hone in on that as you but, but you don't have to have it in any particular position so yeah. for example if i if i cut the key here on this side and i want to flip it over it's gonna re side. it's gonna recalibrate each time. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Nice, nice. So let's actually go ahead and decode this key here. Okay. Because this is the key for what's the I just want to make sure is it. Yeah. So yeah. this turns the cylinder. So I'm gonna decode this one. Okay. And I'm gonna go and, and cut this key. You mind if I do it? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So you can go ahead and load it in there now. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So you mm -hmm. said slip that in right there. Yep. Right. And you said yep. like right in that area. Yep. And yep. then just clamp it down. Right down, just flat. Yep. Good. Um, so we're gonna to go to decoding. So go to decoding right up there. Oh, you hit main yep. correction oh, by accident. Right. No big deal. Close that up. Yep. So hit decoding. Decoding. Yep. There we go. All right. So it shows so you how to see load how the that key. line goes across there. Right. Yep. Shows you as a reference. Doing that. And now you have to lower that mobile tracer. See right just here. It over. says tracer on the screen. So yep. You just lower it down. Okay. Just lock it, it in. Lock yep. it in. Yep. So it doesn't yeah, move. Lock. Yep. Start. Uh, you have to lower the shield. So the machine oh, has a safety feature. It will not start until you lower the shield. Gotcha. Very nice. Okay. So what it's going to do now is it's actually going to go and detect and find out where the key is located before it actually begins decoding. So it's going on both sides, find a position, and then it's going to go to the tip of the key to find, find the position. Now that the machine knows where the, the, the key is at, it's going to begin decoding it. So the two things that one was a tip stop, no tip stop, it'll cal recalibrate each time, find find the position, and then the other thing on both of these machines that you don't see on normal cutting tools is a deburring brush. Yeah, that's true. So very very clean, clean cut and precise. Yeah. You're gonna see on the screen here. It's going to give us our cuts, okay. and it also gave us our code for this particular key. Oh wow! So yeah. it actually gave you the key code. The key code too. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So that, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now you can wow. uh, take that key out. So lift this up. Yep. Then you take that out. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Raise that up. So you got to yep, loosen it. it. So if you it didn't, it would stop you and tell you as you were trying to move forward. Yeah, okay. tell you. The screen will stop and say, "Check tracer." Yep. This one here. Yep. There you go. And just right in that area. Sweet spot. Yep. yep. And right. you do have the correct cutter in there, um, Tony. Cool. Yeah, it should be. All right. Yeah, it looks like it's the right one. Unless you changed it, I, I didn't change. see. <laughs> no, that's, that's the correct one. It'll tell you here when you go to cut. It'll tell you what cutter that you need to have. Exactly. Here. Okay. Yeah. So you press, cut. Yeah, press cut. It's going to tell you right here on the screen. It's going to yeah. tell you the jaws that you need to have. Okay. Then the uh, 106 jaw and the 107 jaw. Got gotcha. So we have that uh, correct okay. jaws in there. Again, and then the, the cutter as well. So and then again, like I was showing you, they're easy ball bearing to remove. Yep, they pop okay. right out. On that, so if you have to change. Okay. Yep, so you just lower the shield. Close that down and then yep. start it up. And then here, just want to uh, point out one more thing. You see the cutting speed? Yeah, I was looking You can at slow that. that down too. So if you yeah. want to cut that key a little bit slower, um, it's, it'll be a little bit less wear on the, on the cutter itself, so it'll last longer. And uh, also, where it says steps, you can increase the number of steps too. And what that'll actually do is it'll take more passes on that key. Oh, nice. So instead of it making say two or three passes, it'll make an additional however many you put in there. You're rushing, speed it up. It's kind of bigger. Yep, blades last year, slow down. Yeah, exactly. So at, at factory setting, I don't know. Ryan's does the east, I do the west. But at factory setting, some of the heavy users that we have in the west say they're cover, uh, averaging about two to two sixty on the keys. Mm -hmm. Not many keys, but until they have to start worrying about changing their cutting belt. And and just so you know, I've seen customers over a thousand keys on both sides like on the yeah server. i've seen over a thousand being cut with the cutter well, never cutting never yeah, never yeah. changed yeah. like have you changed the cutter no no you don't see blades running you'll back? hear oh, you'll hear a, you'll yeah. hear us you can hear it wine yeah, yeah and, and, and over time you'll also see burrs on the keys so you'll know exactly. it'll show signs of when yeah. you need to so this key is smooth 
Yeah. But if it starts now, to wear down, you get the birds. In that situation, if they're up over a thousand, it's probably because they're they're constantly cutting just the the same, brass yeah, type, right. same type of key. Soft key. But if you cut OEM keys, maybe a little bit harder exactly. material. Exactly. If you start to see a variety, especially where you're getting keys right. from, yeah, that's so where you could see a variety that. in the hardness of the steel. Yeah. Okay. What, then that, that's going to obviously play an effect on yeah. the, the life of that cutting bed. But like I said, those steps too, that'll help reduce on that. It will. Yeah. yeah. And what are the uh, what are those bits usually? Those price? About fifty bucks. Actually. Yeah, they're under hundred dollars. So yeah. That's the tracer. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Under hundred dollars. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Let's get this started, then, right? Yeah. So it's going to do the same thing here. It's going to detect where the key is at before it begins to cut the key. It's got that '80s video game sound. It does. Yeah. yeah. Play yeah. Little sound of money. <laughs> nice thing about it for shop setting and even mobile shop setting you can be doing other things yeah let it do you know it. let it do yeah. its thing come back to it you're good yeah, okay exactly. so it's good. it lets you multitask yeah versus like a manual machine such as this one which is a great machine yeah it allows you to, to yeah. walk away from it yeah yep. I'll do something else you know what this is only that uh that x that condor x mini is at around three thousand dollars yeah. This is only 800 or more, and this seems to be a much better quality machine. Yeah. So, uh, that's and this is just any tablet, you have to have your own tablet. No, any it's tablet. It doesn't come with it. It comes with a tablet. For that 30 inch tablet, wow, yeah. really? Yeah. Tablet. yeah. Wow. But you could. You could. You could. You can use your laptop, you can use another laptop, tablet. Yeah. You, um, you it just can't be an Apple based. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the only thing. thing. Yeah. So, you can source one in if needed. Okay. And really, all of the problems, like this morning when we got on this one, we won't name names, but somebody who had it before accidentally uh, reset, basically erased to, the fat, to factory specs. So yeah, the factory. So we had to we had to reset them. Yeah. Gotcha. But for, for example, if a customer say somehow left their tablet or, or like crushed their tablet somehow, it got destroyed. You can go to Walmart and get another Walmart, tablet. You, yeah, you, you know, you're not, yeah, you don't hours. have to wait two, three weeks that's for good, a tablet. Because yeah. that's kind of a, exactly. always can be a big problem. Yeah. Alright, so right around that same area again, yep. it's yep. going to determine where it needs to be. Yep. It's flat. Yeah, it'll go find it. And I'm not over cranking, I was just cranking it. So no, yeah, this no, you want, a good, you want a good tight fit. You don't want to move while... Uh, yep. One thing I would note too before you start this, sure. um, this machine does work off of electrical contact, so I'll brush the shavings off each time it makes a cut. So just okay. run the brush and brush those. You can leave oh. the, yeah, you can just leave the key in there. Just, here. I like that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. so just, yeah, just brush those off. And then, Gotcha. Being lowered yeah, better. just in case. Yeah, I haven't it's, had a miscut on these machines. Yeah, yet. it shouldn't cause the issue. But uh, now, if you're going to put them in a uh, mobile application, or you're going to put them in a van, yeah, these machines, both of them, only come with one mounting bracket for the back. Okay. So we're ad living here with brackets. Okay, good. good. So and obviously and a, move it towards the center, yeah. more in the center, like we have in the bulk in here. Right. And use right. that uh, some type of rubber insulation. Yeah, get get, so get them an insulation it because vibration. you're gonna get that, especially here. I noticed in Texas, you got some rough roads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Good morning. Lower the cover. So yep. we're good there now. Do yep. that. Hit the start button. Yep. I'd like California. We have smooth roads. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get that one in there? Can you leave that in there? <laughs> yeah, see, California is not that bad, but you just have to know how to speak state tax there. There you go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's a weather tax. Come You're on. You're from there, too? <laughs> Sacramento. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm from, I was born in Florida. All right. Yeah, that's a little... I'm North Carolina, so... Yeah, that's from here, race. Yeah, that's heavy brown when I was younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, two years in Santa Clara. Okay. So I'm allowed to have an opinion. I'll make one. See here you have on the edge cut you do have oh for tip stop. Or for shoulder stop. So how would that work? Key what so you load the key in on this side, right? Okay. okay. It'll, it'll butt up for the shoulder. Shoulder? Oh yeah. that's what it's for. Just you also have your your stops here too. So like, if like this. That would be a zero stop. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 But you have your other stop light for the time just Yeah. I've been wanting to get one of these machines. I mean, that would be great, but, <laughs> but for budget change, this one's pretty yeah, yeah. And like our seat. Speed Series, too, the other thing on this jaw, right? So you can take that. There's a quick change. So if you get something that's odd, yeah, just press down and spring, spring loaded, and then twist. Press and twist. There you go. Okay. You don't so, have to uh, press down, I don't, I don't believe. Will it twist? Yeah, yeah there it goes. You don't have to oh, press okay. down on it. Yeah, actually, it makes it easier not pressing down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. 
Alright, so we take that out. Take this off. Yeah. Clean your spot for next time. Yep, yep. Now you can test into the uh, cylinder here. Yeah. Sure yeah, for the most part, the machines will stay very clean for the area because of the shield. <laughs> so most of your shavings are going to stay inside inside the machine. Yeah, yeah you can see that's something we notice with the you condors. It likes to take yeah, yeah, there's some there's not machine. As ITL is a yeah, good machine, go. but it's messy. Mm -hmm. So real messy. So it, and that's the thing is. Well, there you go. There that's you go. Nice. Like that. How's yeah. that for an infomercial? <laughs> This is that sort of kit that you were asking about. That 989 kit. Is this a, that's not cloning, right? It, it's, it can be used with cloning. So it's really used for um, universal remote um, solution to be able to program. Like this one remote that he has in his hand could be programmed to a Nissan, a Ford, a Dodge. Oh, wow. Different vehicles. You just have to preset this to the frequency to the vehicle you're working on. Okay. We have an application that you can download onto your phone or onto your computer where you can control this device to be able to preset the remote to your frequency. On top of that, if you simply take it out, you see it has a multi-transponder head. Yeah. I think you just had. Where you can put a, a callable transponder, a programmable transponder, wherever you desire. Steps are these are the three types of remotes we have. Okay, so that's uh, that's what I was kind of wanting. Yeah. Clear information. Okay. So, so you got flip types. key. Okay. But not You've got uh, teardrop, what we call, or no blade. Okay. And then you got the one that will accept the horseshoe blade for an integrated. Okay. Key. Okay. So, so and where's the blades at, or how do you have? Uh, I have them in a separate thing, but you're, so your blades, obviously, you want to keep more inventory of. Sure. But they're less. Uh, that there's they should be in one of those. What types of styles? Labeled down to there, out. blades. Probably like HU100 and HU101. That's the high security ones. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So here, you can put it right on top of that guy. TR47. And so now you've got, you know, so like and the blades are inexpensive too. So how this would work, Ryan, then is that, you know, I'll take you through the four steps here. So with all the right accessories. Actually, so, here, while we're doing this, this is a, what is this called? This is a smart remote program. Remote program. Smart remote program. Smart remote program yeah. by silica. Yeah. Right. And, and basically what this allows you to do is, is condense your inventory and offer your customer a, an inexpensive remote that they could that fills in for their vehicle. You do that through an app process. Okay. So we search for it. I'm put my glasses on at this point. <laughs> and we search. And then now you just populate four um, pieces of information. So on today, what we'll do is, what is this? This looks like a Ford key. Yeah, that's all Let's thinking. do a Ford. I'm going to take you through all four steps. So I'm going to do Ford, 
And I'm going to do one I, I learned on Nice to see them. U.S. Canada, so you've got a... Right. And then model, I'm going to look for a sports track. So I've got those four pieces of information populated. I hit search, it comes up. Okay? So now, obviously it's not going to look quite like the factory. Yeah, right. But I have this in there, and I, what I want to do is, first of all, I want to identify the blade, and I can cut that right. with my new Futura machine. Sure. Right? Okay? So I identify that. That's step one. Step two is I want to preset what they call preset the board. The board is blank and can be written to two more times after you do it the first attempt, right? Yeah. So, so on this board here? Yes. This board can be written to unlimited times. Unlimited? Unlimited. Yeah. Okay. You can preset that as many times. The GTI. That's right. The GTI. It's limited to three. Okay. So with that information, I hit preset. And then I come over here and I hit a button. You see the red light go on. Right. And you watch this count up to 100%. And it's basically taking that OEM information and it's resetting it to that board. It acts, it'll react just like that success. factory bottom. So success there. So that's step two. Okay. Step three now, because you have a chip involved, as we showed you in those right. in the internal uh, organs there. So you would take it to car, keys cut, blades cut, put together. Do that right now. So the chip's in there already? Yep, chip is in there. Okay. You can get without the two. Okay. Don't count with chip. Okay, so now you've got key ready to go, right? So now you put that to the vehicle, and with your Smart Pro or MVP, you program that chip to the car. Yeah. In most cases, like Chrysler and a lot of the other the buttons will say at the same time you program. Okay. But in this case, it doesn't. There's a percentage that won't. Saves quite a bit of money, especially with new auto tax. C to uh, what I was mentioning earlier, um, you can pre code that key to be program the, the transponder inside of this um, to be programmable to, where you can connect with one of your other programmable tool programming right. tools to program the um, key to the vehicle. So, okay. without without GTI transponder, so you, with this tool, you would simply pre code it to whatever vehicle you're working on. 
Um, and we have a uh, my keys pro tells you what it needs to be pre-coded to. It'll tell you the information that it needs to be pre-coded to. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we so this right here, say if I bring you, I have my Ford key, and I say I need an extra copy of this. You basically put it in there. It reads it without the car being here. Yeah. Copies yeah, yeah. it on there. Yeah, with the Ford, it works that way for the most part. For some 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 applications just like uh, a Honda's for that example. In some cases, you may need to um, to snoop that vehicle. What we call snooping. Do you have a snooping yeah. up here? In the yeah, they right. should be in. Um, no, they're in the uh, top drawer in the back. There's a box that should be in there. Got to look yeah, down in there. Just to, just to give you, in most applications uh, like newer Toyotas and the newer Fours, vehicle does not need to be present at all. You just need a, a working key that works for the vehicle. Like you said, you simply insert it in the machine. It reads the data. It basically decrypts that data. Finds out what it needs to write onto the new blank. Okay. Read, it, this process typically takes less than two minutes. Like I say, you'll read it, and once you read it, insert the, the new blank that you want to write it to, write it, and that key is ready. You can just tell them, hey, go have a great day. Okay. All without even having to leave the counter. So this is this is that plus the inbox. Now what's the, the, what's the, the inbox thing? comes with it. Oh, they're together. Yeah, yeah, it comes with it. It's a 899 plus it comes with 15 transponders when you when you purchase it. 15 of our clonable transponders. You'll get five of our new uh, Toyota H uh, mm -hmm. transponders, which covers the newer like 2016 to 2019 Toyotas. You'll get our uh, five of our GTH uh, T80 Plus. Uh, I mean, uh, our GT uh, T80 Plus um, transponders. They come. That'll cover like your um, your Fords 2016 to 2019 Ford. Show them on the one. Uh, what was it? The then, Ford. Then five of your GTI transponders. Let's show them with the uh, Mike East Pro uh, that I information. Uh, uh, Ford. Okay, like. pull it up. Yeah. Well, I got it right here. Just what what model? Uh, 2014 Ford Focus. That's what I'm showing this to to swing this real quick. So, it'll come with two snoops. Um, the red snoop is used for inbox applications, and we have charts that easily just decipher what you need to use. Okay. And the, the machine will tell you too. So if you need to uh, do a vehicle that requires the M snoop, it'll say use M snoop. What does Otherwise, that do? What does it so, do? So the purpose of this, um, so we're gonna do the keys right here. So some vehicles like. Honda's, for example, you may have to snoop the vehicle, meaning you have to go to, even though you have the customer's key that works, you'll insert the customer's key, read the information, it'll tell you to uh, to retrieve the information from the vehicle using the snoop. To do that, you simply, because what, what happens, part of the information is on the key, but part of it is still in the vehicle's uh, yeah, computer. You have to go get that. So you just wrap this around the, uh, the head of the key. Wrap it up there. Go to the vehicle. Insert the uh, key into the ignition, turn it to on position. Mm -hmm. You see it has these bubbles here, these little yeah. LEDs. When you turn it to the on position the first time, this light will light up red. Okay. Turn it off, turn it back on, this second light will light up red. All, one more time, both lights will light up red. At that point, you've got all the information you need from the, um, the vehicle. You come back to the RW4, insert it, press enter, it'll read that information. And then you simply insert the new blank key and then press right. And that's it. Yeah. So for some applications, you may have to do that one extra step, but otherwise it'll be all at the counter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just to tie this back into the app, so transponder type. So mm -hmm. that information is there for you to sync. Right. Kind of keeps you on track. Yep. Okay. It was great having the Ilco truck stop by today and show us some of their new uh, cutting edge uh, automotive key cutting machines, as well as some of their um, universal programmers and universal uh, car keys and remotes um, they stop by every so often and we'll continue to make videos on that content uh, please like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel we can always use the subscribers and stay tuned for more content we'll continue to pump out more content this year and more videos if you have any ideas for videos please leave a comment um, and we'll try to make a video to uh, to answer your question or discussing whatever subject it is you want to discuss uh, also, you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. We're on just about everything, LinkedIn, and uh, we appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe.